So I'm very glad that you joined this specific episode, my friend, because this is one of those that will be very important in your personal development journey. So if you are doing the challenge season two, this is going to be huge, almost at the same level of the episode that is called the personal development positive cycle. If you haven't heard that episode, please just put it in your agenda. You can do it afterwards. You can you don't need to do it before listen to this one. It is not like a part one and part two, but the other idea is also very important for your journey of expansion and growth. And basically, just an overview of the other idea about the personal development positive cycle is that when you achieve a state in your personal development journey in which the fruits or the results of your personal development actually promote more personal development because you are able to make money and not only money due to your personal development and your current state psychologically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, socially, sexually, all of that, but also with your personal development, you can buy more freedom, buy more art capacity, creative capacity, and therefore buy more happiness. That is the positive development, positive cycle, and that is huge. This one today, what I called, <laughs> oh boy, the personal development imperialism is also in the same level of importance. So also this episode that you will listen today will serve serve you to make sense of a lot of the things that we are going to be doing in the future. So if you don't want to start thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Dr. Derek Israel, he has changed so much. I don't like his content anymore. He's talking about politics now, and he's talking about pop culture and mainstream media and celebrities, and he's talking about war, and he's talking about economics, and he's talking about ecology, and he's talking about cosmology, and he's, talk he's talking about this and that. W where is where is the personal development, Derek? Huh? This, this was supposed to be a podcast about personal development, about psychology, about self-help, not about politics, not about economy, not about what cosmology, planet starts, black holes. What is that? What is going on? Man, you, you destroyed your podcast. I don't want to listen to you anymore. Hey, I don't want you to say that. And trust me, if you don't understand the idea that I will show you today, You will think that in the future. Maybe not now, because now we are in a challenge. Now I am bringing an episode daily. So it doesn't matter too much because every day I have a new episode. But let's think in the future, maybe when, I'm, when I am out of the challenge and I am doing other episodes, I may be doing episodes about other subjects that, that you do not associate with personal development and you may get frustrated by that and you don't need to because every subject, my friend, and this is the central idea for today, so listen up, every subject is personal development. Everything in the universe, look around, look around your room, look around wherever you are. Maybe you're driving, maybe you are taking a bath, or maybe you are 
playing a sports, running, but look around. Everything that you see around is personal development. And we can go further than that and say that everything is universal development. Because if it is personal, it is universal. Because what is the ultimate stage of the person, of the personal? The universe, the universal. And you will get there if you learn how to meditate, how to pursue enlightenment, how to do yoga, how to unite with the love, compassion, kindness, those what I call um, divine constitutional values. And I will be doing two episodes actually about one, I think it will be about constitutional values alone. And another separate episode will be about divine constitutional values. And that will be maybe next week, one of those, and the other one maybe in a month or two months. So stay tuned. This is getting better and better. So yeah, my friend, this episode will serve as a foundation for what we are going to be working in the future here in the podcast, but more importantly, not in the podcast, because at the end of the day, what is this? This is just a podcast. What is really important is your life. What do you do in your life? What do you study in your life? And how you implement in your life the lessons that you learn in all the multi-dimensions that you can study of life and learn about in life. This is what it's all about. So welcome, my friend, to your new and powerful and extraordinary personal development imperialism. Man, I just love that intro. I, I don't know about you, but it's like it gives me a feeling of freshness every time that I hear that intro. It's like I know that I need to go and what we are going to be discussing is life changer. Because let's be honest. What other podcast is doing what we are doing? And now it's not only in Spanish anymore, but now we are doing it in English, in the universal language. And I don't find any other post uh, podcast more holistic, more multi-perspectival than this one, my friend. So I just want to thank you for being here and thank you for continuing listening to the podcast, listening to the podcast Thank you for everything. Before we begin, let me announce that very, very soon, in a couple of weeks, I will be launching my first, finally, baby, my first book, okay? It's called Terapia con Derek, and in English, it's going to be called Therapy with Derek, and please, when I announce that, just buy your copy because I don't know how many copies I will be having in the first, you know, distribu distribu di how do you call it? distribution. So you don't want to be left out. So as soon I announce, hey, now I have the, the book right now. This is the link. Go and grab your copy. The price is going to be super duper accessible. Not big deal. But trust me, my friend. That book is going to be revolutionary. I have been working in that beast. I call it the beast. Uh, six years now. So now it's getting done, finally ready. So stay tuned for that. So what is imperialism? 
Let's start by discussing this. So this episode is called Personal Development Imperialism. So let's talk about what is imperialism. Well, this term is from politics and war and nations and international relationships. This term is referring when an empire, for example, the Soviet Union empire or the Chinese empire or the United States empire or the Rome empire, whatever, is when an empire basically expand its territory by conquering other territories. So if you remember the Second World War, what Adolf Hitler was doing was imperialism. He was the, the feather, how he was called the feather or the president of Germany. And then he wanted also to conquer France. And also he wanted to expand to, to the Soviet Union. And he, then he was to he wanted to expand to Poland and to Spain, whatever, all Europe, right? And that, that was his plan. And then he was about to do that in Asia, Africa, United States, America, all over the world. Napoleon. He did the same. If you study Napoleon, he did the same. Alexander the Great, he did the same. He went, you know, conquering India, a lot of countries. He was doing his imperialism. And the important thing about imperialism is that if you expand your territory as an empire, well, you have more resources to, to, to dispose, to use in your political agenda. So if you are Germany, for example, you may have 80 million. I think it's 80 million. Or I, I may be wrong, but you may have 80 million people in your country, right? With limited resources, with limited guns, with limited human resources. But what if, what if you go and you then conquer Spain, for example? So you go and conquer Spain that in Spain you may have, I don't know, how many? 60 million people? I don't know. This is just an example. I don't know, really. So now you conquer Spain and you have 80 million people plus 60 million people. How much is that? 140? 140,000 people? And you have also the resources of Spain. So you can use Spain for defending that territory or to storage your tanks, to storage food, to storage anything that you need. You have the economy of Spain. You have the culture of Spain. You have the influence of Spain. And basically you acquire the power of another country. That is imperialism. Now, I am overgeneralizing here, for example, The fact that you conquer a country, it doesn't mean that the people in that country will respect your new authority. So, for example, right now, right now we are seeing the Russia versus U Ukraine war. And let's suppose in this example that Russia wins his political agenda and they conquer successfully Ukraine. Let, let's say that that happened. I don't think that that will happen, but it may, right? Um, that doesn't mean that you, you, the Ukrainian people will follow the orders. That doesn't mean that the resistance will disappear. No, they can be fighting the empire forever. Did you saw Star Wars? It is the same thing. The empire in the Star Wars movie or saga, they were trying to expand their empire by imperialism through the whole galaxy. So you can do this in the galaxy. You can do this in planet Earth. Even you can do the you, you can do business imperialism. What do you think uh, Mark Zuckerberg has been doing in Facebook for the last 10 or more years? He has been doing imperialism. Like he's, he bought Instagram, he bought WhatsApp, 
He bought Oculus. Everything that is working in the space, he tried to bought Snapchat. Everything that is working on the digital uh, social media or virtual reality, everything he tried to buy it and to convert that into a monopoly. And that is a business type of imperialist mindset. And hey, I'm not picking on Mark. Everyone do it. Google do it. Apple do it. Amazon do it. Twitter do it. Microsoft do it. This is the game. This is the game in business. This is the game in politics. This is the game in life. We try, we try actively to gain resources, to gain territories, sometimes at the expense of others and their lives and their beliefs, sadly. But you may ask, why, Derek? Why we are like that? Well, have you heard about ego? <laughs> have you heard about ego before, my friend? This is just egoic operations. The ego wants to survive and the ego knows that, or, uh, you know, he thinks, the ego believes that if he has more, he is more. Because remember, how the ego survives by attachment. He get attached to certain things, to ideas, to materialism, to objects, to money, to cars, to houses, to the country, to the nation, to communism, to capitalism, to Christian uh, beliefs, to Muslim beliefs. The ego get attached to things and that is how the ego survive. So the ego think, oh, if I have more things, guess what? I will be more. I will be more fitted to survive and to continue propagating my own agenda. And everyone is thinking the same. This is the problem in humanity. So we already discussed what is imperialism. is attacking other territories to gather resources and you become bigger by doing that. Now let's discuss very briefly because this is an old story here in the podcast. What is personal development? Well, personal development is an area of study. Also, it's an industry. You know, you can see personal development in different frames. Like you can see personal development in your own life as a study, as a practice, as experience, as a habits that you do every day to become better as a human being. Also, you can see personal development as an industry, as a business. I am in the business of personal development. I have been in, in this business almost six years now. And you may be interested in becoming part of this business. Well, if you want to, you know, start doing videos about it. Start writing blogs about it. Start doing podcasts about it. Writing books, documentaries, helping people. Maybe you can get certified as a coach. Maybe you can go and study psychology or spirituality. Start meditating. Start doing yoga. Start reading the books. Like personal development, you can make your own business with this and help other people to grow. This is the business of growing. And you may do it for yourself or you may do it for business. And in the best case scenario, you may do it for both, for yourself and for business. Now, what is then personal development imperialism and why is this important? Well, Let's do, if we want to know what is this, let's just combine the two definitions. Personal development imperialism is the capacity of conquering other areas of life in order to grow and to expand the territory of your personal slash universal achievement. 
And I want to emphasize, this is not only about you. This is not only about your ego, about your personal development. This is about the collective consciousness. Yes, we start by us. You cannot start thinking about the universe if you are not taking care of yourself. You start by yourself, but then notice if you are meditating, if you are doing yoga, if you are connecting with infinite love, infinite compassion, infinite empathy, if you are creating, if you are connecting with God, with the infinite art, what your ego will do is that your ego will expand, 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 and then your ego will encompass all the universe in its identity. And we can call that a universal ego. And I should be doing an episode about that. Let me write it off because if I don't write it, though, uh, you know how many times I have said here in my podcast, oh, I will do this. Uh, I will do this specific episode and I never do it because I forget. So let's just write it off real quick. Universal ego. And that was a term that I learned uh, with a guru in India. When I asked him, hey, how can how we can eliminate our ego? He said, we can't. We just expand our ego to include everything. And I was like, oh, that is deep. So yeah, I learned that in India. So this is his folk. We are copying the strategy of nations to grow ourselves. So you may be asking, um, so how 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 this works? I will explain, but let me let me let me tell you why this is important. This is important because everything in life is showing you something, my friend. It's trying to teach you something. Everything is in existence. It wants to be seen by you and studied by you and introspected by you. And you may be so focused in other stuff in your life and you may do personal development because, hey, if you are doing this podcast, if you are doing this challenge, you are in this business. But you may not be doing personal development imperialism because this is the next stage. This is the next order. So, so this is important because this extend the capacity of your personal development. You are not growing only by reading books about personal development. You are not growing only by listening to a podcast or videos of personal development, you are growing by everything in life, everything. You are growing by the movies you see, you are growing by the music you hear, you are growing by the news that you read, you are growing by the conversations that you have with strangers, you are growing by Um, cleaning your house, you are growing by playing a sport, watching sports, you are growing by understanding politics, understanding war, understanding the cosmos, you are growing by entertaining yourself, watching uh, maybe a series or maybe a uh, I don't know, maybe by just watching your post on social media. And this is so revolutionary in my mindset, folks. If you have followed my content for the last almost six years, I have been a hater of this idea that I am presenting today. But I have been growing and then I just create this whole notion of personal development imperialism because now I am conscious that this is important. If you have been following me for the last six years, I have been telling you, dude, do not get distracted 
forget about Netflix, forget about movies, for, forget about sports, forget about everything. Go all in, in meditation, yoga, reading books, spirituality, personal development, grow your business, create your business, start doing art. You are an artist. Go all in in your art, whatever that art is. You know, achieve sexual mastery. Forget that about everything else. Just focus on your sexual mastery. Focus on your life purpose. That was that has been my entire message. But now I'm telling you another thing. Now I'm telling you, hey, you can do other stuff also, but you need to grow as well in those areas that you are doing or those areas that you are conquering in your life. This is the personal development imperialism, going to other territories that you don't may associate with personal development, but you grow either way or any way. You grow any way. Because growing is something that is happening in your inside. You are not depending on the external code to grow. You are grow natively. You are growing natively, inherently, inside. With intrinsic motivation. And you may say, okay, there that sounds cool, but how I will grow for, for example, if I if I if I start listening to another podcast, let's say I I follow I follow your advice, Derek, and I and I decided that I will start listening to another podcast that is not about personal development. And I will listen to a podcast about fashion, clothing and fashion. How the hell I will grow about it? How the hell I will do personal development if I am hearing how to create the most awesome pants and panties in that podcast. Well, here, here is why you will grow. I, I cannot, I, well, I can say how, how, but let me say why first. Why you will work or sorry, why you will grow listening to that, you know, hypothetical fashion podcast. You will grow because everything is a self-similarity. And I will explain. And I also will be doing very soon an episode about self-similarity because it's a concept that I'm repeating almost every day. And I don't have a podcast to back it up. I like to say, hey, just watch this video, watch this podcast. And I don't have one. So I need to explain it in every video that I say it. So basically, self-similarity is the capacity of a thing to reproduce itself in everything, in everything. Making everything self-similar, similar to itself. So if personal development is universal, if the codes of grow are universal, then that means that the codes of grow the codes of expansion, the codes of advancement, they are in everything as well, even if they are not directly talking about them. So in that fashion podcast, they may not be talking about personal development, but if you download the codes that are inside the podcast, because everything is personal development, and everything has the codes of personal development, then you can grow with that podcast in proportion as you are growing with this one that is about personal development. And you can do this with movies. You can do this with everything. With everything in life, you can be drinking water. And this is the most personal development act of your life. Seriously, just think about it. Water, what awesome liquid, what awesome resource 
is almost a perfect resource. If you understand water, metaphysically, profoundly, uh, profoundly, deeply, if you really understand what is water, you will understand what is God, what is life. But it's only water. But it's not only water. It's water. Water. Universal water. A substance that locks in itself the cosmos. Everything locks in itself the cosmos. So if you can reduce reality to certain elements, every element that you look is the cosmos. This is how or why we can do personal development imperialism because we can grow in every territory if we have the right intention. Folks, this is very, very important. If we have the right intentions. Because what is the difference, you may ask, be between listening to the fashion podcast that you were saying and growing from that podcast? Well, the difference is intention. Why you are listening to that podcast? Are you listening to it because you really want to learn? Because you really want to grow? Because you want to know in the business of clothing and fashion what works? And use those wisdom in life, in your relationships, in your art, in your other businesses? Or just because you want to, you know, pass the time and kill some hours and blah, 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 blah. If you are doing it to distract yourself, you are not doing personal development imperialism. You are doing distraction. Personal development imperialism, it is not the same as distraction. Distraction is the devil. Distraction is what is getting in your way to your success. Distraction is procrastination. Distraction is evil. Distraction is the way is the thing that is compromising your highest results. And that is not personal development imperialism at all. Personal development imperialism is the whole opposite of distraction. Is focus of concentration, intention, planification, perspective. In a sense that everything that you will do from now on will be based on personal development, period. By outside, it can be perceived as you are distracting. Maybe someone can see you, oh, man, you are watching a movie. That's so cool, man. You are having fun. You are, you are passing time. And you will say, no, no, I'm not passing time. I am growing as hell in this movie. You are distracting yourself in the movie. I'm not distracting. I am learning. I'm learning new quotes. I'm learning new mindsets. I'm learning about the art of acting. I'm learning about cine cinematography. I'm learning about special effects. I'm learning, 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 learning in the movie. I am downloading the minds of the characters of the movie. I am downloading the spirit of the movie. I am not distracting. You are distracting. We are both watching the same movie but you are distracting and I am conducting a personal development imperialism operation. Here is the difference. Just notice the difference. And you may say, there, that, is, that is cool. That is kind of makes sense, but how this will impact your podcast, how this will impact the work that we are doing together here. Well, it will impact because I will be discussing a lot of stuff in this podcast and in my general content in my YouTube channel, Dr. Derek Israel. Subscribe if you want. I will be discussing things that 
are not gonna be so how can I say it? They are not going to be so explicitly, that is the right word, explicit about personal development, but you will grow as hell with those as well. For example, I will be discussing in the future more about politics, international relationships. Now I have the talk show in which I discuss something that is happening right now, contemporary, mainstream, pop culture. Like, for example, yesterday, I hope that you listen to that episode. That episode, I think, and I believe, is one of the most powerful episodes that I have ever done in my life. It is called When It's Okay to Slap Someone in the Face, Will Smith Psychological Deconstruction. And in that episode, I went frame by frame explaining you some psychological, sexual, social, biological, and business-wise type of theories and implications and explanations about why Will Smith slapped Chris Rock in the face during the Oscars awards. Now, you may say, how that is personal development? That is not personal development, Derek. That is mainstream media. You know, that is celebrities, media. Well, it is personal development if we deconstruct it with this lens, with this lens, with this perspective, with this model of personal development imperialism, which established the fact that in everything in life, we can find truth. And in everything in life, we can find ultimate wisdom. We can find God in everything. So in the slap in the face to the Chris Rock, we can find God. In the slap to the face to Chris Rock, we can find liberty, freedom. And you may say, it's violence. Yes, but in violence, also we can find everything else. Also in love, also in compassion, also in service, also in altruistic behaviors, also in nuclear wars, also in revolutions. In everything, it's the same principle because everything is united. It's different faces of the same thing. That's why Joseph Campbell, famous mythologist, he called that the hero with a thousand faces because it's the same hero with different masks, different perspectives, different colors, but it's the same light. Every color, green, yellow, Black, red, those are light. You perceive different colors, but in the foundation, in the basis of that phenomena, what do you find? Light. It's the same with this idea. So please go and watch that video, that episode that is called When It's Okay to Slap Someone in the Face, Will Smith, Psychological Deconstruction. And you will experience firsthand what is personal development imperialism. You will experience because you will grow so much. <laughs> It's crazy. You will grow and understand life so much from that weird random um circumstance or situation you know the will smith slap that you will say oh my gosh how the hell i grow with that so much and then you will understand something will click in your mind and you will say oh now i understand what is personal development imperialism So you will have like a, a direct example. So watch that.
So now let's talk about different industries or areas of thought that you can do a lot of personal development imperialism and you will benefit as hell. Also, some of these industry, I will be talking about them a lot during my podcast in the future. And also I will be implementing stuff like this in my general content. So you can expect that. But before I mention this, I just want to remind you that you can donate to this free podcast. And by donating, you are helping us to sustain these operations and to continue with our mission to inform, to educate, to help people transcend in a free way, uh, in a friendly way, in a bilingual way. And if you believe in this product, if you believe in this project, well, go to Patreon. The link is in the description. And that is a platform in which you can donate just $5 per month, per month. And with that, you help us a lot. Also, you will, receiving, you will be receiving special benefits from that donation. So go to the link and go to Patreon. Thank you. So let's start. What is the first area that I will recommend you to start studying deeply by doing this personal development imperialism and you will grow as hell? This area is politics. Politics. And let me tell you something. If someone was a hater of politics, it was this dude right here. My father, man, he's a fanatic of politics in Puerto Rico. He likes uni you know, United States politics and also Dominican Republic politics, but... He's like very into Puerto Rico politics. So my whole life, I have been hearing my father talk about politics in a very opinionated way, in a very, you know, with a strong opinion on his beliefs. And I was like, ah, oh, man, I don't like that subject. Oh, blah, blah, that is so boring. So then when I hit the university, I stayed the same. Like I have always been like, separated from politics. But now I'm reaching a stage in which I am developing what I call political consciousness. And I will be doing an episode about what is political consciousness, I think maybe next week or the next after that one. So political consciousness is getting aware of how politics affects everything in the universe. And with that new consciousness, you start getting more interested in politics. Now, notice I am saying politics. I am not saying this particular party or this particular organization in politics. I am not saying you get interested in Biden or in Trump or in Democrats or in Republicans or in, you know, I don't know, in, in certain, in liberati uh, how do you call it? Uh, capitalism or liberato how do you say that liberties ah, i am not i cannot say that word man i will research it after i do this podcast and the next time i will uh, do it maybe you can uh maybe you get interested in uh communism or socialism whatever I am not saying that you will get interested in one subject and then you will be a fan of that and you will say, oh my gosh, this is the future of humanity. I understand this. Yes, yes. No, dude, that is not imperialism at all. That is fanatism. What I'm asking you in politics is to become aware of the whole scenario, the big picture. Be a holistic thinker. And then you can see the patterns. And then you can understand the dynamics. And I don't, I am not saying that you cannot, you know, believe in something and support, for example, democracy or support, for example, 
um, LGBT, Q community, whatever, whatever political idea you have in your mind, you can support. But please do not become a fan. Do not become blind by the movement, by feminism, by um, the men movement, the red pill movement. Do not get attached that much to the movement because then you lose this capacity for sophistication and the personal development imperialism that we are talking today about. In order to go to the territory of politics and to expand your personal development in that territory, you, you must have an objective view of the scenario, of the environment. If not, you're going to get lost in the details, and that is not what I want you to do. So what I do, I am reading about politics almost every day. I just go to... Google, and I put international relationships news. Just do that. This is a direct challenge. Do this for the next week, every day. You can actually do it in Spanish as well, like Relaciones Internacionales Noticias. And you will write that on Google. And you will see a lot of news about, you know, China and about Iran and about India, and about Canada, and about this, Chile, Venezuela, and you will say, okay, let's see this one, bam, and you will read it, and you will grow, because you are not getting distracted, you are, you are analyzing patterns of behavior, you are analyzing collective consciousness of countries, Venezuela, they have their co the collective consciousness, United States, we have collective consciousness, China, they have their collective consciousness, Do you understand that type of consciousness? Yes or no. Do you understand that course culture? Yes or no. Do you understand what type of qualia or qualitative stage that country brings to humanity, to the wholeness of humanity? Yes or no. If you understand, you can grow by that. If you don't understand, you cannot grow by that. You cannot grow from ignorance. You only grow by understanding and comprehension. So politics is essential. Stay tuned for more in developing political consciousness. Political power is another subject that I will be discussing here. And there's another one, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I think that I have three of those. Anyways, let's go to the next area that you can go study, research, experience, and you can find a lot of personal development, imperialism. And this is ecology. Ecology, the science of environments, of the natural world, of the natural universe. Now, this is one that I am not an expert. And this is one is, that is in my agenda to continue researching very deep. I am in like, I, I, I am in my first steps in this one. So that's why I don't always bring up green perspectives here in my podcast because I am, I don't know too much about that. I am very interested, but I am also cultivating the interest. And this is something that maybe I can do an episode or maybe I just can't say it here, but Like sometimes you have an interest and you should be cultivating that interest with patience, just thinking about it, breathing about it, meditating about it. Sometimes you don't need to go all in and study and conquer and do the imperialism. Sometimes you need to meditate on it. And then when the time is right, you go all in. I did that with economy the stock market and the crypto market. I was cultivating that idea for, for two years. I was saying to myself, I will go all in. I will go all in to the stock market. I will go all, all in to study crypto and understanding. Not only, you know, reading a couple of articles, uh-uh-uh. Go all in, 
like reading the most profound books about it, watching a lot of documentaries, like in a sprint, sprinting my way to understanding. Like I spent like a whole two months only researching about economics, stock market, and crypto last year. Two months, all in, nothing else. Blam, 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 blam. I was not doing too much content and I, I was working in my internship in the Colorado Corrections. So I, I, had, I had more more time back then. So I did that. And now I am doing that with ecology. I will not read an ecology book today. But next year, I will be doing that as hell. Right now, I'm in the face of contemplating or pre-contemplating ecology, asking questions, seeing you know the environment, seeing the rocks, seeing the plants, seeing animals, seeing everything that is in the universe. I'm just telling myself, I will go for you, baby. I will understand you, and I will, I will, I will include you in this universal model that, 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 that I am building with my fans and with my students. Uh, and I will include you because I know that you are so important. But right now, I don't feel kind of ready to go all in, but I will. But you may be ready to go all in in ecology and studying that, you know, maybe becoming an active participant of some ecological movements and just developing that green mindset. Maybe you already have it. That is your journey. So congratulations. Maybe then you need to go to politics or to the next one, to the next area that you can do a lot of personal development imperialism. And this is um, economics, economics, economy, economics, the same, right? So, so I already told you what I did. And let me tell you something. I have grown so much by understanding economics and investments that is crazy man this imperialism is so awesome so if you want to start by one start with this one well follow your heart you know ask yourself which one do do i really like but this one in my perspective dude you will grow so much if you understand what is offer What is demand? That whole concept is so basic for economy. It's like, what is emotions and thoughts in psychology? Or what are cells and chemicals in biology? In economy is what is offer and what is demand. If you understand that, you will grow so much. If you understand what is Taxes, you will grow so much. If you understand really what is divisas and value and in inherent value and trade and merchandise and branding and pricing and inflation. Right now we are seeing the prices going up in everything because we are having inflation why why is that do you know i will not explain you explain to you why but do you know do you think that that is not worth to know why money can buy less through time well that is a hell of a knowledge, uh, hell of a knowledge to have do you think that you will grow with that Do you think that you will become more wise if you have that knowledge? Do you think that you will become more skillful with your finances, with your money, if you have that knowledge? If you have financial dexterity, financial education? What is blockchain? What is proof of work, proof of stake? What is the metaverse? What is Web 3.0? 
This is all of that blockchain kind of crypto kind of world. What is decentralized auto, uh, automatic organization? What is decentralized financing? What is decentralized applications? Do you know or not? If you don't know, you may be growing by researching what is compassion, what is fitness, you know, what is, what are good habits to have and blah, blah, blah. And you are growing. Yeah. But trust me, you will grow equally by understanding what is compound interest, what is credit, what is debit. What are bonds? What are options? All of those financial terms. You will grow as well as if you were study, studying compassion or what other subject is very important in personal development? Life purpose. I have a course that is called Manifesting Your Life Purpose if you want more information about it. You can uh, go to the link in below. I have a link that it says um, the registrar courses. Go there if you want more information. But yeah, economics, man. Go all in if you feel this is the new area for your personal development imperialism. The next one, cosmology. This is huge. It's going to be so huge when you understand, not only intellectually, because now I'm telling you, so this is a spoiler for you, and now you will have the idea in your mind, but it's not the same to have the idea versus to actualize a truth. Actualizing a truth is very different. It's very different. So while I also spent a lot of time last year studying cosmology, and I am not by any means an expert. I am in first steps also. But I will be researching very, very profoundly, very soon about the cosmos. And what I just learned by doing that in that first iteration that I had Oh my gosh, dude, if you understand the cosmos, you will understand yourself. If you understand what is the stars, what is luminosity, and I have an episode that is called What is Luminosity? Please listen to that episode. You will understand so much about light and how you can use light for basically enlightenment and infinite love. So just search in my YouTube, Derek Israel Luminosity. If you understand what is a black hole, it will change your life forever. Understanding what is a black hole, I think is the same as understanding what is quantum physics, non-local process, non-lineal process, um, the uncertainty principle in quantum physics. So I believe that understanding cosmology is in proportion of importance of, un of understanding um, quantum physics. And hello, we all know, if you are doing personal development and spirituality for a long time now, you know that studying quantum physics, this is not an option, folks. This is mandatory. And I know it's complex. And I know that the first time that you actually read an article or read a blog or watch a YouTube video about quantum physics, you are like, what the hell is this? Oh my gosh, I don't understand nothing. But stay with it. Stay with it. I spent like the last six years studying quantum physics. And now is when I finally... is when I'm fin finally considering that I am understanding a little bit. So this, you need patience to do this. You need persistence. You need intention. 
to do this. This type of work, this type of personal development imperialism. So go go all in in cosmology. Hey, just do this experiment. Watch a documentary of the cosmos. I am pretty sure that you have done that before, but just do it today. But do it with the intention of personal development imperialism. Do it to grow from that documentary, to grow from, you know, from how starts stars work, how gravity works. Dude, if you understand gravity, you will understand God. Let me just tell you that up front. Gravity is God. Just study gravity. What is gravity? And you will say, oh my holy guacamole God. If you understand what is space-time in Albert Einstein theory, you will understand God. If you understand what is the law of relativism or the theory of relativism of Einstein as well, you will understand God. If you understand thermodynamics, Newton, physics, or cosmological physics, because these physical laws, believe me, they work in the macro system in the universe. That's it. That is how we also prove some of those last, you know, in order to prove some of the aspects of relativity, we need to look up and look at the sun and look at, you know, different type of movement of stars in order to understand if is this real, if it is this theory working, we need to look to the cosmos. The next area is pop culture or celebrity news. Okay, so let me tell you something. This one, I don't love it, but my wife loves this one. So a shout out to all the wives. Shout out to all the women that love this one. <laughs> my wife is, she's not like crazy into this one, but she, I think that she reads every day about this because every day she has a new <laughs> celebrity kind of news. So I'm trying to explain to her, you know, the metaphysics behind consciousness. And she's like, oh, do you know that Kim Kardashian did this? And I was like, why are you telling me this? You know, I am in my life purpose. And this, this was a problem between us before. Right, right now, I kind of understand that there is an imperialism going on in my personal development. And I'm, I am conquering territories. So I'm conquering everything. So I don't care anymore. But before I was like, why are you telling me this? I am in my life purpose. I don't need to know Karda about Kardashians. I don't need to know about Bad Bunny. I don't need to know about celebrities. Right now, I just listen to them or to listen to her because I know that I can find patterns, nucleus of personal development in those stories as well. Like the Will Smith stuff. That was pop culture type of news he's a celebrity he's an actor and if you watch that episode that i just recommend you about will smith you will grow so much and you will understand how you can grow as well with celebrities and mainstream media now i don't do this anymore so sorry i don't do this a lot like i, I don't go and listen to to podcast about this or or movies or 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 news but what i'm doing at least is what i'm doing is like like being open like if someone is telling me something about Justin Bieber and his last dog something random like that you know in this industry they like stuff like that i listen now i at least i listen <laughs> i am i'm improving i am improving okay And now that I have the talk show, I I need to be more aware of this type of stuff and to be able to understand, okay, this is a talk show. I need to go and, you know, do an episode tomorrow. So because I am more aware, I could do yesterday, uh, you know, the Will Smith episode. So let's continue. And I think this is the last one. 
Yeah, this is the last one. Let's just say let, let's just say entertainment as a whole. And in, in entertainment, we can uh talk about video games, movies, series, and music and sports. Video games, music, series, movies, and sports. I love those. Definitely, I love those. But when I start growing a lot in my personal development, I removed everything from my life, folks. I already told you this before. I became obsessed with personal development and I had a policy. And I think that I should be doing a lot of podcasts about, you know, establishing policies and constitutions, internal constitutions. That, that, that are subjects that I have been gathering from politics, but I am extrapolating to personal development. So I, I, I used to run that policy in my life that I, you know, that rule that I didn't distract myself with anything. So I, I used to love NBA. I stopped watching NBA. I only watched the finals or the playoffs and only with one, one team, the, the LeBron's team, because I'm a huge fan of LeBron. So I used to watch a lot of movies. Now I watch like three movies per year. Um, series as well. I was a very fanatic of series. I now I don't watch any series. Music as well. Um, video games as well. But I am learning now that this uh, field of entertainment, you can grow as well if you have the right intention. So if you go to play a video game and you really have the intention to grow, the game change, your game change. Let me give you an example. In 2010, oh my gosh, 12 years ago, I'm old. I was one of the most badass player in the gaming industry in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. At least in Puerto Rico, I was one of the top guys. And back in the day, I was distracting kind of with the game. I, 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 I didn't have the intention of growing with the game. Now that I have 27 years old, I have Call of Duty Mobile in my phone. It's the only game that I play. And, I, and now I'm thinking about buying a PlayStation. So I am kind of struggling with that idea because I know that that is... That is like a drug for me. Like I can become dysregulated with a PlayStation because I'm a natural gamer. I'm a natural gamer, boys. I don't talk about it because I am sophisticated, more sophisticated now through meditation, yoga, traveling the world, doing spiritual retreats, consciousness work. But I, I, I am a, I'm a gamer. So I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. I, I will let you know what I did. But also I'm thinking about it because I want to play games with my with my daughter. Anyways, um, so the only game that I that I play sometimes, like one time per one time per week or every two weeks, like a one session, maybe one hour, is Call of Duty Mobile. And now I just don't only play because I want to have fun, although yes, I want to have fun and I have fun, but also I play because I want to become more skillful in my attention, in my reflexes. So Call of Duty kind of helped me with that. I want to portray and show my leadership skills. So if I'm in a team in the Call of Duty game, I, I want to be the leader. I want to be running the show. I want to be calling the shots. I want to be exercising my personal development in the game. And learning stuff in the game that then I can apply in my life. So for example, if if I am utilizing a sniper in the game, I want to be lethal with that sniper. Only one shot, one kill without missing exactly as I want to do with the products of my business. I want to be lethal with the products of my business, of the with the books that I launch, with the courses that I launch. I want to snipe, sniper kind of, I want to I want to to be precise with my business as I am in the game. I want to be precise in sex as I am in the game. I want to be precise in my spirituality, in my meditation, in my yoga, in my consciousness work as I am in the game. The game is life and life is the game. 
There is no separation. It's, there's only imperialism, personal development, imperialism, folks. And if you want to learn more about that, just watch one of the most extraordinary episodes of all time. That is called Why Life Will Turn Into a Video Game. You search that on YouTube, Derek Israel, Why Life Will Turn Into a Video Game. Extraordinary episode. You will learn so much. So yeah, my friend, do this with sports, do this with movies, do this with everything. We call this personal development imperialism. So we are reaching the final part of our podcast. Please leave your comments below in a comment. Um, I always like to read you. Always, I always answer sometimes. I miss some days. Sometimes it will be one month afterwards, but I will respond to you. So please give me your thoughts. What do you think about it? What are what is in your mind about it? Please share this episode with a friend. Uh, remember to go to Patreon. The link is in the description. There you can donate at least $5 per month, and then you will be contributing to this podcast more actively. I appreciate that. And also remember that I'm going to be launching very, very soon my Terapia con Derek or Therapy with Derek book. This is my first book ever. And hey, don't miss out. You want your copy. This is going to be <laughs> a life transforming book. I'm telling you, boy, I'm giving my all, boy. I'm going for all, boy. So you need to grab that book and put it in your bookshelf and in your bed and in your bedroom, you know, you will live with that book. Trust me, it will be so fascinating for you. So life, so much life transformation due to that book. Also go to DerekIsrael.com. In DerekIsrael.com, you can find everything that I can do for you. My consulting service, my coaching service. Maybe you want a one-on-one -on -one with me. Go to DerekIsrael.com. Maybe you want to enroll in my courses. I have a meditation course, life purpose, self-love masterclass, how to be a top content creator type of class. And also I have sexual mastery class. Some of them are on Spanish. Some of them is also on English. So just go to DerekIsrael.com and see everything that I have to offer for you. And tomorrow we're going to be having a very, very powerful subject. So stay tuned for more. And we continue in the Mastermind Podcast.